In this video, Arduino library is created for DHT22 sensor to display temperature and humidity on different screens. To learn in detail how to program DHT22 sensor, please refer to my previous tutorial where the sensor was interfaced with 80 mega 8 microcontroller and programmed in C++. A link to that tutorial is available in the description. In this video, I will focus on creating a library for the sensor. This is the folder structure for the library. The library is named DHT22 sensor. Within this folder, we have the examples folder containing the example sketches and we have the files needed to create the library, namely the source file, the header file and the keywords file. We begin with the header file where the class is defined, DHT22 sensor. It contains public members that includes the constructor which has one argument which indicates the digital pin to which the DHT22 sensor is connected. And we have three methods which are accessible by the library user and they are defined inside the source file. And we have private members which indicates global variables and also this method which is also defined inside the source file. Next we look at the source file. First we include the created header file, the HT22 sensor. Then we define our constructor. Now we look at the definition of the public methods which are accessible by the library user. We begin with method getData. Now inside this method communication is established with the DHT22 sensor where the microcontroller will first send the start signal and then the DHT sensor will respond with a response signal and then the microcontroller will read the data from the sensor namely the temperature and humidity data. The start signal is initiated by the microcontroller in order to wake up the sensor from low power mode and this begins by setting the data line as output and then we send a low pulse for one millisecond and then a high pulse for 40 microseconds. The sensor will then respond with a response signal so first we need to set the data pin as input and then we wait for the DHT22 low pulse signal once we receive it, we then wait for the high pulse and then we wait again for the low pulse. Next, the microcontroller reads the sensor data by first reading the high byte of humidity and then the low byte of the humidity. Next, the high byte temperature and then the low byte temperature and then the checksum value. Next, we obtain the 16-bit humidity value by combining the high byte with the low byte and we do the same for the temperature. Next, we have method getTemperature which will return the floating point value of the temperature and method getHumidity will return the floating value of humidity. Finally, we have this uh, private method read DHT22 byte which is not accessible by the library user but is used by other methods inside the class. This method is used to receive a byte from the DHT sensor and save it into a byte variable. So by using this for loop that will loop eight times, we will first wait to detect a data bit which is a high pulse. Once we get the high pulse then we wait for 50 microseconds and then we check the value of the bit. If it is 1 then we add it to the variable data byte otherwise it will be 0 and it is added to the data byte. And then we wait for the DHT22 low pulse. Once we get it the process is repeated until we have all of the 8 bits. After we install the created library within the Arduino IDE, we can now have a look at some of the example sketches. 
We begin with this example which displays temperature and humidity on the serial monitor of the Arduino. First we include our library and then we create the object which indicates that the sensor is connected to digital pin 2. Inside the loop function and every two seconds this function will get the data the temperature and humidity from the sensor and here we will then save the floating point temperature value in a variable and then save the humidity value into another variable and then using the serial print we will display temperature and Celsius and humidity as percentage In this next example sketch, we display temperature and humidity on I2C1602 LCD. First, we include the DHT22 sensor library, and then we include the LCD1602 I2C library, which was created in my previous video. We declare object DHT22 and object LCD which indicates that the I squared C write address is 40 hexadecimal. Inside the loop function and every two seconds we get the data from the DHT22 sensor and then extract the floating point temperature value and then display it on the first line of the LCD and then we extract the humidity floating point value and display it on the second line of the LCD. In a future video, a library will be created for I2C based temperature and humidity sensor AM2320. Thank you for watching.